Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to take a quick look at the Tri-X Panorama 360 AIO. Uh, this company is based out of Shanghai, so it's fairly new. For those of you that have been paying attention to Computex coverage, you may have seen a couple of your favorite YouTubers cover this brand. Um, I was at Computex and I did bring this back from Computex. Uh, it was provided to me by Tri-X. Uh, this is an, I believe this is the non-ARGB version. Uh, which means the fans are not going to be RGB. And as you can see right on the box, it says Ace Attack. So it's most likely the latest Ace Attack would. Other than that, let's just kind of just bust in here. Now, Customs did open this for some reason because <laughs> I had it in my luggage. So it, it may not be as pristine as the one you will receive or the one you will buy. Okay, so, so let's just take a look what's in here. Um, right away, we have the head itself. Okay, so this looks very familiar to me, right? As should all to you, especially looking at the bottom here. Uh, it looks, you know, let me see if I can pop this off. So this comes off, and right away you can tell that just by looking inside that controller board there, that should also look very familiar to you, right? Uh, someone who has a couple Acer Tech AIOs with displays, uh, that controller board does look familiar. And this AMOLED screen also looks familiar to me because it's one of the new screens that's been out on the market. Uh, you can buy them. I don't know if it's this particular one, but you can buy them, you know. You guys will soon see um, an RG one from Computex, if you didn't see that already. Uh, Bits Power is also making a curved AIO, not AIO, I think, I think it's more of like a curved water block. Um, but uh, that aside, uh, we see that it has the VRM fan uh, for the motherboard. So this should also, this design of you see that where this just comes together in the clip? This is very familiar for anyone familiar with the Reusion series, right? So let's come in here and open this. Let's take this all out. Okay, okay. So, yep, this is what I mean by the non ARGB version. So I'm just gonna quickly just unbox this out and let's take a look at this. Okay, there's obviously a bunch of fan wires. Uh, I'm gonna clear the box aside for a moment. And we'll try to get in here. Okay, so it seems like the, the fans are pre-daisy chained um, for you. All right, so let me get that out. So you'll see that the fans are their own fan design. Um, empowering possibilities is their logo, which is why it's on everything, um, or their model. And this is obviously the Tri-X design. So um, I guess, you, you would want to face it like this, right? With the Tri-X logo on the side here, or you want to face it. Uh, is it Tri-X logo on both sides? Yes, on both sides. So you can swap the fans depending on the orientation. Um, looking at the fins. Yeah, this is the standard. Let me see how thick this is. This looks like 30 millimeter. Okay. Yeah, so that is, looks to be a 30 millimeter rad, a little bit below, more like 28, 29 but close enough. Um, other than that, you get the PWM for the pump, and obviously you get a USB to internal to control the pump and the software for the screen. So nothing new here. Let's take a look at the mounting mechanism, which I'm going to assume is gonna be very similar to the stuff we see for the Ace Attack. This is warranty information, six year warranty guys. Um, I don't know how regular AIO warranty is. I think it's normally three years. Um, so six years is nice to have. Okay, so you have an instruction manual and it tells you basic gist and it tells you to download the software with the QR code. Okay, so easy enough. Let's take a look here. Okay, so Taking a look at the included hardware, we have this all out. You have um, thermal grease. This looks to be the same Noctua stuff. Uh, let's see, mounting brackets for what appears to be AM5, AM4. Oh, I like this, a nice steel bracket. It's nice and firm. It's not a plastic bracket like some. It's obviously for Intel. Um, what else do you get? You get a fan extension wire. Mm, I guess that's for this, right? 
just to make it long enough. And what else do you get? Mounting hardware. This looks to be mounting for the radiator. Mounting hardware. Yeah, so it should support all your standard sockets. And um, yeah, so it's obviously gonna replace the existing brackets on an AM5 when I can, looks like it from here. So what I do now is I'm gonna mount it onto a system. Uh, we'll see how it looks. We'll take a run at the software. Okay guys, so I've installed the AL, just a quick 20 minute put together build. Um, for those of you wondering, this case is actually a Tri-X case. Uh, the same company that makes this AIO. It's not on the market yet. Uh, it's still a prototype. Uh, I can go into the case a little bit for those that are interested in a separate video. Um, I will be doing a, a loop in here. So uh, I might do a series where I convert this to one of my custom loop styles and just kind of do it step by step. But anyway, uh, so you can see that right away, the AIO does look a little bit uh, unique in terms that you do get a curved display. All right, so I have the camera pointed at the AIO. I'm going to show you guys the software at the same time. Um, right away, you'll notice that it is uh, called Canali. Um, it's kind of got the kind of NZXT cam to it. It looks fairly polished. It will give you the specifications of your machine here. I'm using a very prime uh, NVMe that has my boot on it, so it's very small. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to anything you have installed here. I've seen, for example, if you have their fans, which are not out yet, it will be here. Uh, so let's just move on to the settings. And settings, you'll have language, etc., where it's installed, start windows, the normal stuff and updates. Now, speaking of updates, since I've installed this AIO, there's been an update for firmware, two of them, uh, within the last, I think, day or so. I did have some initial issues with the screen dropping off, with the USB popping off, but that was... Uh, resolved in a firmware update. So I'm just gonna go to screen settings uh, for the panorama. You'll notice it moves to the panorama. And I have it right now on the default um, animation for the quantum time capsule. Obviously, you'll notice it comes with a couple of them. Some of them are new. So if, for example, if I hit save here, you should see that animation change. Um, unfortunately, I have a lot of lights pointed at it, so it looks dim. So what I'll try to do is turn off one of my lights and see if that looks brighter. Um, I'm sorry guys, it's looking so dim. It's really because of the bright lights I have shining on it, not the AIO itself. But you can change the screen brightness, uh, as you can see here, right? So you can change the brightness. So, oh, was it in sleep mode? Okay, so it seems like there's a bug here, right? Because you'll notice that it went to a much darker version and then I raised the screen brightness again. Um, so, I guess that's something that can be worked on in the future. Here you go, you have a car one. Uh, these are just the preloaded ones that come with the software. Uh, you have a Tri-X space. Um, yeah, it was really strange that it looked so dim earlier. I was like, I remember the thing being brighter. I think it was maybe it was my camera lights or something. Um, so now we have the gift box. You know, Some of these have really cool 3D effects, kind of like that uh, display in Japan, right? That screen on the side of the buildings. Uh, so, this is kind of what you get, but you can obviously start screen recording, uh, at which point you can record, a window pops up that's probably hard to see, and you can record parts of your screen in different aspect ratios and then use it here on this screen. So let's, let's switch over to custom mode. Um, now I've uploaded just a clip. They have to be, uh, they can be any ratio here. You can see it can be these aspect ratios. It has to be under 400 megabytes. It could be a photo. It doesn't have to be a video. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just, um, let's see if this can get in here. So can I save this? So if I save this, you'll notice I'll start playing the B-roll that I put up here from my Hyperion video. Now, obviously you can play more than just videos. Uh, if you go to screen splitting, you can have two videos uh, I think you have to upload more than one thing, which I haven't done yet, so I haven't tried this aspect. Um, but I will say the software did have some improvements just between the time that I installed it initially and now. Uh, you know, the video actually looks a little blown out, so let me reduce the brightness on the camera here, guys. Um, it may look a little blown out on video, but in person, it looks really good. Uh, so if we go to full screen, uh, we'll come back here and just go to the regular one. Uh, don't 
don't save as that. Sorry, just move this again. Um, let's say I used the factory one, right? Uh, you can also have a display statistics. Uh, you can see that you have GPU temperature, etc. The normal things you would like to see. However, I, I think select up to three items is a little bit of a hindrance. For such a large surface area, it, it would be nice to have more than three items. Um, obviously, you can see you can have a display in the center and you can have a display on, for example, the corners, right? Something like that. So you can change the location of the, of the stats. But I do feel um, I'm, I'm OK with the data that can be read here. For example, CPU, GPU, hard disk temperature. I mean, I mean, maybe CPU. Oh, they do have CPU voltage. So they have all the all the good stuff. But only being able to see three at a time is kind of a waste of space. Right. So I think maybe they could give you the option of having, say, like you see right here, I have three on the right. Then maybe give me like three in the middle, right? Then maybe give me three on the other side. Uh, oh, sorry, on the other side here. And then then I have nine, right? Something like that may work. That's just a software change. Obviously, that can be done. Oh, what's this? You can have add a smoke filter. Okay, so you can add a filter to your um, thing as well. I guess they can add more effects over time, right? Um, let's see. Let's check out rain. Uh, Okay, All right, that's cool, All right? So you can adjust the opacity of that as well. So, and obviously you can also turn the screen off if you don't want it, but I don't see why you would buy this and turn the screen off, All right? So from what I can tell, uh, this is ran through, there's an Android folder for this software. So I don't know if this controller based is running something like that, but I'm pretty sure if you really were one of those people that like to tinker, you could probably get some other stuff on here if you really wanted uh, through ADB. But um, yeah, with that said, um, the fans are quiet. Honestly, like I said previously, I don't have another 360 AIO currently that's not taken apart to really compare this to. But uh, definitely, it, it, you know, it's going to perform in line with any other Asetek AIO, right? So the selling point really is the screen itself, um, which is currently the only curved one on the market. Not that the other curved ones won't come out. I did see a couple prototype-ish ones at Computex. Um, I would say this one is obviously has the most polish since it is a released product. Uh, I don't know when it's coming to the United States market. I would assume within the next month, um, but it is available in the Chinese market right now. Uh, that's why some of the software, the updates are still in Chinese. Uh, I noticed that it was in Chinese and it prompted me for an update, but those are just some UI language transit and translation things. And I also did notice that um, you know, it's it, they have to register with trusted installer because it also gave me a thing about the really you know smart screen, window smart screen. Uh, but those are all things that can be addressed. Uh, so they're not deal breakers. Uh, price point wise, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Uh, currently, in the Chinese pricing, in the Chinese market, it's about two hundred something dollars, um, maybe mid two hundreds, which is kind of in line with some of your higher end AIOs, right? Like your Corsair charges you what two hundred dollars if you add on the screen, it's like a little over two hundred. Right. And, you know, ROG comes in at about anywhere from 200 to 300, depending on the, you know, 360 or 240, whatever it may be. Uh, so with that said, it, it is fairly um, well priced. And I, if you notice, the software is it's very, um, you know, it had some quirks, but since the update, it's been running pretty well. It's very smooth, you know, no lag, even when I change things, it's almost instant. So th there is a lot of good here. Um, as for those that are probably interested in the case that I have this build in, it is a Tri-X case as well. Um, it it's about the same size as a Lanley Evo XL. Um, I, I will go into the case. I I'm going to do a water cooling build. So this build that you see this in is going to be changed to a water cooling build. Um, and one I probably will do a more of a breakdown step by step versus my normal like, hey, I'm done here, guys. So with that said, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.